uh, for me to ask you something. Yes. All right. Since you're Since here and I'm I'll here. Selfies, All right. <laughs> Since you're an expert at this, I want to ask you something. Oh, I'm not an expert, but I say I am. Yes. What do you see? Am I holding? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, see, here's the thing. I'm born and raised in an Italian neighborhood, and that's still not a rice ball to me. <laughs> that's a piece of sushi to me. Yes. You're wrong. It's a sandwich. Uh, How is it a sandwich? sandwich. <laughs> it's a popcorn ball. Ah. Uh, I thought it was a Tamagotchi pet. <laughs> oh. Honestly, when I was little, I honestly believed you. You I believed was, me that that was a jelly donut? I thought it was yes. a Digimon. <laughs> you but believed you, me. But you lied to me. So you wait, lied did, to everyone. Did you go to the, like, the, the deli and ask for a jelly donut, and then, then when they didn't give you that, you're like, what? Or did you go to a sushi, sushi restaurant and say, can I, went everywhere, can I have one of the jelly school. donuts? Yeah. <laughs> And everyone made fun of me for it. Well, when people tell me that I'm the voice of their child and they thank me for all that stuff, I say, and the bad things were your brother's fault. <laughs> so I don't take any of the blame. But, but I know the answer to the rice ball jelly donuts because I worked on the production side. So we wanted to make Pokemon uh, a universal show for whatever country you were in. And more people could relate to donuts than sushi worldwide. So we, that's what we did. We didn't change the animation, but we changed that. That was so that it would then be distributed all over. So in Germany, things like that, they, they referenced it as a donut and not a Japanese food product. 